So, hello everyone. So, uh, I will start my presentation. Um, thank you for all of you to attending my presentation. Uh, the presentation is about the journey of the next gen uh, fintech ITP in at, at China Merchants Bank. So, um, brief introduction for myself. Um, I'm a, a, a citizen architect in China Merchants Bank. I mainly um, focus on the uh, cloud native application uh, management platform and do some, a lot of uh, plan for engineering um, practice in production environment. So I'm also um, uh, as a maintainer for Cuba Villa. And uh, today's agenda about the as follows. At first, I will uh, try to introduce uh, a, a background about China Metrics Bank uh, cloud migration, and uh, I will show the change uh, after migration. And uh, the change brings uh, complexity and uh, challenge. And I will use the platform engineering as the solution to resolve the change. I will show the uh, journey of the IDP in China Merchants Bank. And the, we'll look inside, have a look inside in, in, in the system. Uh, what's a core parts, uh, uh, core uh, technology practice. And uh, I will show some benefits after uh, what benefits uh, get from the uh, IDP uh, production practice and some suggestion and experience for you as takeaway. Uh, Ch Ch China Merchants Bank has completed the uh, uh, enterprise-wide cloud migration until now. And since uh, in December of 2022, and with the success of the migration of the last batch of the accounts to the cloud, China Merchants Bank achieved full cloud migration after three years. This um, this practice uh, divided into three stages, uh, three three phases. The first phase we uh, do the path exploration phase. We uh, build the uh, large scale path plan for to promote a uh, large scale um, applications in first uh, phase, and uh, then we build the full stack. Um, Cloud, uh, full stack cloud with the multi AD architecture, benchmarking public cloud. And then by the end of the 2022, the system was fully migrated to the cloud and the one cloud with two stack architecture was, will, uh, uh, has, been, has been implemented. After cloud migration, some changed. To, to, to perspective. Why is the organization has changed? The second is the application architecture has changed. The, the, this diagram is show the current architecture in China Merchants Bank after the cloud migration. In this architecture, the plan for team as a core of the architecture, uh, IT architecture parts. The plan 14, especially the cloud plan 14, builds the um, plan for tuning in the cloud and uh, um, build platform to uh, workload is business business development team and the business development team uh, deliver a product or service to product owners and the product owners offer the product as service to the customer. The value stream from the left two sides and the uh, left to right, the plan for team has a core part of the IT architecture. The second change is the application architecture is fully changed. Before, before uh, migrating to cloud, uh, 
the system divided into the stateless part and the stateful part. The stateful part is about the mail application, and the stateful part is the service. And the application break into several multi-scale, large-scale microservice architecture to microservice application architecture. And we ship it to the cloud. So it's a, a cloud application is mainly has changed to the microservice architecture application. And service to migrate to the cloud, uh, we use the cloud service as a state form. Those changes raise the complexity. And the challenge also from the complexity is meaning uh, the change from the three parts. First part is uh, uh, cognitive loads. We should know the, we should master a lot of uh, domain, cloud domain knowledge. And also the application architecture become to the max service architecture. It's too, it's very, if you want to imagine the application and deploy and uh, do monitoring for the microservice application, it's, re it's really uh, complex and challenging. And also, we get some uh, re re the Dora, Dora uh, uh, entering reports about here along some warning. If we look back the past uh, 20 years, technology history, revolution history, we found the developer and the operations and the managing people should know, should know um, more, more technology domain, technology, and also should have the more responsibility from the coding shape run and the after run. And the, the infrastructure and the application architecture has been totally been changed. If we, if we uh, look into um, divide the domain logic until now, after cloud migration, four parts, you should know the DevOps technology from the whole, whole application lifecycle. Initial, initialization, configuration, deployment, deployment and uh, maintenance and monitoring and troubleshooting. And also, if, if the, you deploy, the manage, deploy or manage the, your application in the cloud, you should know different cloud runtime technology from the same lifecycle. So, it's really complex. And also, It's very, it's very hard to deploy and uh, operation, monitoring the application and service in the cloud. We referring the uh, approved the uh, Uber. Uber give um, Uber paper about the critical um, pass airlines of the large scale microservice architecture. We should you will. Since the architecture is, re is, is really complex, it's hard to monitor. He gave an example. A Uber backend system has in composed by 3,000 microservices, and the one tree has uh, 40, 40,000 no nodes. So it's really complex. And then meanwhile, Dora gave the warning in 2022. This report uh, I highlight. He noticed the user of all kinds of cloud, public, private, and hybrid, and multi clouds should elective association with the change failure rates, meaning uh, increase the change failure rates. That means the after the application migrating to, to the cloud, more production events occur. Yeah. 
So we want to solve it in China Merchants Bank, in enterprise. Uh, enterprise. So we, our solution is use the um, plan for engineering. Okay, three parts. We will compare the traditional model and the plan model. And the plan for engineering is not just a culture, it's, a can, it's really experienced a really actual exercise, a pragmatic engineering exercise to solve the problem. And we will build the platform according to a DORA uh, capacity, compatibility. Traditional um, plan for is kind of the Zhong Tai, yeah, yeah. Zhong Tai normally will layer the architecture. The common things, common things as a butter of the architecture. Um, and uh, we'll do some uh, abstract uh, specific things in the middle layer and uh, use the config to drive the whole, whole plan for. But this, this, this model, it's easy to extend it. You, you will tell the system functionality, level down the system functionality. But platform is different. Platform use the uniform interface, API or some, uh, some uh, uh, for example, uh, later I will introduce our uh, practice. He will he never narrow down the system um, functionality to a player for application developer. He will fulfill the diversity of applications in the platform, only to decrease the complexity in the system. Planful engineering is not a culture. It's a combination culture, operation, automation, toolbox in CNCF in the whole. Yeah, DevOps as the culture. And the SRE is a typical operation automation practice. And the CNCF has rich diversity open source projects. Supported. We just build the plan for engineering as product is, is okay. How we build the, how we, we do the explanation of the plan for engineering? We will build the plan for engineering as an IDP, internal development as, as a product. So it's, it's a real product. product. It's not just the, uh, the draft or the idea or vision or culture. It can be explemented by a product to match, to mapping with DORA capacity, to, the, to decrease, decrease change, uh, to, to increase the software uh, delivery performance and uh, increase the reliability of the system. How do we, in the China Merchants, uh, China Merchants Bank, three stage. We start from the application stand, stand, stand division, uh, aligned to the plan for engineering and the Chat GPT is coming. We do some practice oriented AI. At first, we, we know the core issue is the complexity from a bring, bring uh, from the cloud uh, migration. So we, the key point we want to decrease the complexity. It, it's a good way to do do some um, abstract. So we get spark from the OSI protocol. OSI protocol is kind of a uh, separation of counsel. He hide, hide and abstract the whole network protocol, payload, modeling. So each layer 
can collaborate with each other, but they don't know how the layer doing. The details of other layer don't expose the complexity to the high layer. So, operate, uh, open application model has the same common sense idea about the separation of the concern. He wants to solve the problem, the declarations and can, the, the application, cloud application can be deployed in different cloud environments without feeling the difference and the complexity of the cloud environment so that the application developer can focus on application architecture. He, at first, he wanted to declare what's the architecture of the cloud application and how to operate it. We built our platform IDP aligned to the plan for engineering in same, same white paper. The plan for serve as a bridge from the underlying compatibility compa provided to plan for users such as application developer and the, and the implement and the executes the practice required for security performance, cost garment and uh, consistent experience in the process. Uh, in brief, the architecture in four layers. The, 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 the uh, first layer is the product application team, and the second layer is the plan for an interface by document pro, pro, project template, API, COI, or GUI. And the underlying is the plan for compatibilities, and the align our IDP to the architecture and do some practice. And also, AI, open AI, chat GP is coming. We should make sure our platform can support AI workload to make the AI developer can run ship, ship run uh, coding in our IDP. We just use the registering definition models, use the Kubernetes uh, CRD to extend the AI, AI workload to match the requirement of the AI application developer. Let's have a look, deep look inside the project, three parts. Application as CRD, automation with controller, monitoring as code. Application as code, as I said, we have do the application modeling for the cloud application. We use the OEM and the Kubervilla, especially. We have uh, the divided 11 typical workloads for cloud applications. The front for the GUI, web service for the API, web service for stateful uh, application. Uh, my circle tasks for cron job and schedule cron job and APIs gateway for the API uh, for the gateway a flink for the the data analyze application. So we use the CRD to describe it and use OEM according to the OEM spec and about apply to the operation SRE operations automations um, functionality bounding to the workloads for config, metric, root. And also, we have modeling our cloud application. We should shape, deploy the applications to the cloud. Normally, we will use a canary release as a typical practice, deployed practice. We will use the Kubernetes as an engine to assembling Envoy traffic and increase controllers abilities to the platform to make the application can be easy, easily deployed in the cloud. But developer do not know any domain knowledge about the ingress uh, controller or traffic or envoy to decrease the complexity. After we deploy the application, we should observe and monitor it. We also use the open telemetry, open SAO, 
as uh, describing it in society and uh, implementing it as corresponding controllers to monitoring. So until now, the cloud application has been abstracted by mo modding and can be easily to deploy and easily to be monitoring. Also by automation way, SRE way. So until now, we have built the FinTech IDP as an application-centered cloud. The application developer has nowhere about any domain knowledge or details about the cloud. Even he don't know, even he don't know the application is run cloud. So three paths. The new new IDP, next gen IDP, has bring a new cloud native user journey. If we want to develop a new product, new eBay system, at first we will stop domain use the DDD, uh, DDD, divide the application and split the mass, uh, microservice and select match standard application workloads for GUI, for API server, VM service, cron job. To assembly and initialize it uh, as a, a application. The, uh, the application has a uh, fully can be deployed in the cloud. And also, he used the plan for just run Turkey, shift the application to the cloud. It will be deployed automatic, uh, 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 automatically and uh, be monitored by the system. And also the three rows of the cloud um, rows engineer, application engineer, platform engineer, and management team has coordinated by the same application declaration spec, OEM spec. It's a kind of OSI, I think. They can, it's a protocol. So this is the, our FinTech IDP architecture. One, two, three, four, four layer. The first layer is oriented to the developer for the streamlined use case. How to uh, how to use application to delivery business value. He only only can wear the model application model workloads and the cloud service workloads, and the, the system IDP has fully end to end life cycle capability, uh, capabilities, including the meta management, operation management, release management, and diagnostic management, and uh, monitoring, and supports auto migrations, seamless, and security. And they were in integration with uh, CI, CD, and uh, data security, third party, third party service as op open API. A cloud infrastructure developer cannot, no need to learn. Okay, so it's in, in short the FinTech IDP as an application central cloud. We also get the large benefit from the IDP. Until now, application engineer only know standard cloud service or standard cloud application. Use it like Lego to assemble into a application, to run it, to build it, to ship it. And the per plan for engineer provides according to the operation uh, open application model. We decrease use the decrease uh, use the use the standards application model decrease the complexity of the cloud for the rookie from onboarding to ship the first application to the productions, only uh, from hours to minutes, and use one, two platform. And op operations cost down, and uh, MTTR down. So, and uh, the most uh, proud uh, part of the system is we, we just use the one year's use adoption uh, 18% of the China Merchants Bank 
application migration to the platform with no production events, with no um, traffic loose. And until now, 10,000 developer and ops use the platform. So as keynotes, we have shared, I have shared the background of the migration of our um, China Merchant Bank. So three-stage FinTech ITP approach. Application standardizations uh, streamlined developed by established uh, uniform practice, unified practice, and along with the plan for engineering, optimize the productivity by integration application with the plan for tool and AI-oriented evolutions, they leverage AI to auto, auto, automate and optimize performance for continuous improvements. And the three, most three paths is the applications uh, standardization by OEM CRD, and uh, we use the, uh, do the canary release product with controller. And we bring the new cloud-native cloud applications user journey in the platform and we we'll share the architecture. Of course, our, from the, uh, from the um, data-driven uh, maintenance uh, analyze, our, our benefits from the DORA metrics is more health. Okay, so the plan for injury is includes, uh, it's a pragma uh, pragmatic, it's not culture, it's pragmatic engineering practice to enhance development and deploy and uh, operations efficiency in FinTech. Thank you. So any question? Okay. So uh, I love the platform engineering. I love how you have the platform engineers supporting the product engineers and measuring that with the Dora metrics. I think that's great. Do you have interfaces between platform engineers and product engineers? Or can product engineers also be platform engineers? Is it, is it more mutable in that form? Or, or is there a clear separation between platform and product engineering at, at, at your company? Uh, sorry, I don't uh, don't get the media. Can you can you repeat it? Yeah, sure. I'll repeat the question. Mm -hmm. um, do you have platform engineering as a separate kind of organization versus product engineering, or can product engineers also work as platform engineers? Is there is it, can you kind of move from one to the to the next in your organization, or do you keep it separate between platform and product? Yes, after we uh, adopt, uh, I, I do the plan for engineering in our uh, inter uh, enterprise. We the the IT IT organization has divided into the plan for engineer and the uh, business application engineer. Okay. My question is about the uh, traditional workloads and uh, AI workloads. When you apply the IDP methodologies, are there very big difference between AI workloads and traditional workloads in your okay? I will practice? maybe the, uh, the, the it's a uh, little details. Okay, but I will show you about it. Mm. From the AI workload, if I run it in the Kubernetes, it's just a, we, we, we just use the deployment to adopt it. So the, this workload is a interf uh, it's not a training model. It's just an interfering model. So, it's the, so the, this application, uh, this workload just for the, uh, it's not for the training AI application. It's kind, of, it's kind of typically container application. Okay. <coughs> yeah, um, I'm a software engineer and I am also a contributor to uh, open source project. And I think your uh, presentation is a really good example to combine like open source project with some 
real industry. But uh, my question is, uh, can you give some advices or suggestions to uh, open source community uh, how this project should develop or grow to uh, meet the user's expectation or requirements, especially in financial industry? <laughs> Okay, it's a big question, yeah. but but I, I try to share my uh, understanding. Uh, um, uh, take the Cuba Vela, take the Cuba Vela example. I, I find the uh, um, okay almost a uh, uh, lot of uh, open source project in CNCF is a, is focused on the technical domain. He he la he lack of the requirements from the enterprise real requirements so if if the open source cannot has a relationship combi combination with the oh, fulfilling the requirement of the real in enterprise requirements the open source project is just a technical project it cannot has a long um, promising um, future or a good a long a long term uh, revolution so uh, according to uh, my experience i i found this uh, kind of uh, uh, phenomenon so i joined the cncf uh, joined the community as a contributor and maintainer so i want to give more proposal real requirement from the enterprise from the China Merchants Bank. It's a typical, I guess the, the, the proposal and the requirement has the common sense from the bank financial industry. So I gave the proposal and I uh, do the design and uh, do uh, lead the team to contribute, do some contributes for the proposal and merge the uh, contribution to the open source project CNCF. So the, if after I do this, do the practice, this project is, has more, um, how do you say, has more uh, uh, tightly, tightly to the enterprise. So uh, this, this, this presentation is uh, uh, about the, uh, the, the final final summary, uh, summary about my practice in the uh, CNCF. And uh, uh, I think uh, in, one, 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 in brief, I think we should promote, encourage more end user, end user enterprise, uh, enterprise to give the proposal to the community. And uh, as the designer, approver, reviewer, maintainer, in the community, and then the 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 the, the CNC projects, uh, open source project will more um, not not just focus on the technique, he solve the real problem. I, I uh, th 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 that's my uh, feeling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Really appreciate. It. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Question. Okay. Um, I'm I'm sure maybe I missed it. Uh, what port or open source port that you are using for the SS management uh, for the identity management or SS management for the bank? And then the second question is, uh, how could you make use of the open SLO in your use case? Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of, a, I, I think it's a kind of a, a CRD for SAO. It's, a, it's also a declaration spec. He can declare uh, what's your uh, target of the, uh, and metrics uh, threshold of the, your SAO, right? So I, I, we, use the, we use OpenSAO as a spec to modeling. Uh, what's the requirements, what's the details, what's the thresholds, what's the ty type of uh, uh, SLA in, in, my, in, in my 
in my CRD, in my as a treat in the application model. So we will do the controller. We'll implement the control, SL controller to pass the SL, open SL declaration and do um, a co coordinate with the uh, monetary data system and along system. Even I will do some uh, um, control plan automations by the SL controller. This is kind of our uh, implementation. Okay. So the bank, your team implement your own identity. I mean, the asset management system. Do you use something like OpenAM or something like identity? Oh no 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 no. Your the team implement your own. Uh, yes, we use we, we don't use the OpenAI. We just use uh, uh, some uh, open source uh, like, like uh, maybe later I will kill you. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Really, thanks. Okay, thanks. Thank